Tonight, veterans who rely on service dogs, they are reaching out, sharing their shock and their outrage. They contacted News for Jax after seeing a viral video from Central Florida that we aired this week. Take a look. It shows an Army veteran with a service dog being denied service at a Volusia County bar, then being told his dog can stay, but he has to go. News for Jax, Eric Avenue has been tracking these incidents. Eric? Yes, well, ever since that story aired two nights ago, people from all across the state of Florida have been contacting our newsroom to express their disgust in how that Army veteran was treated. And now tonight, you're going to hear from a disabled Navy veteran who says this is happening more often than you may think. Sandy Iskey is a disabled veteran who lost her hearing while serving in the Navy. She now relies on a service dog. She says when she saw this video of Army veteran Stephen Herman and his service dog being denied service at this bar in Port Orange, it brought back memories of confrontations inside restaurants. But it did happen twice, and they wanted to put me in a corner, and I was like, I'm already in a corner. What corner are you going to put me in? I have my own corner. And you said it still continues to happen in certain places every day. Yep. Yes, it does. Iski joined Florida Service Dogs, a nonprofit organization in Jacksonville that trains and places service dogs with disabled people. Magic up. Up. Yes, good boy. Carol Christofferson runs the organization and understands why so many people were upset about how Harmon was treated in this video. I've been doing this for 22 years because I got denied access in December of 93, and it still exists to this day because people are uneducated. After this video went viral, the co-owner of the bar that denied service to Harmon apologized and said his employees need training on how to differentiate pets from service dogs. Do you agree with that statement? Yes, I do. As for Iski, she says every time she's told she can't come into a business with her dog, she feels like an outcast. It gets scary, along with feeling like I'm nobody. Now, there are laws in place that prohibit discrimination against people uh, with disabilities coming up at 11. Find out what restaurants and other businesses can ask uh, when a person comes in with a service dog if they, for some reason, they don't believe that dog is for service and not a pet. Reporting live, Eric Avignet, Channel 4, The Local Station.